Rumors are that allegedly Portia may have received some bad news from the network. What happened? How well did she take this news? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kenfo, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, Kenfo, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Portia may have received some bad news from the network. What happened? And how well did she take this news? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Industry insiders are all talking about the alleged bad news Portia Williams received this week. Sources believe the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star was blindsided by the latest news from the network. If true, sources say... Portia's brand may be in worse shape than when she went public with her relationship with Simon. Sources say Portia was probably very upset with the news. She really restructured her entire life, brand, and family around this business decision. Allegedly, sources say Portia was furious behind the scenes and that her team is allegedly scrambling to try and save her brand. This is bad news, said another industry insider. I can't imagine being Portia right now. Having the entire Bravo rug completely pulled from under you is crazy. So, the question is, what bad news did Portia allegedly receive from the network this week? Well, rumors are, that the network has notified Portia that they would no longer be moving forward with her returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise for season 15 as an official peach holder. Also, allegedly the network notified Portia that they would also not be moving forward with a wedding special either. Many believe that Portia either overplayed her hand in negotiations with the network or played her hand too late, ended the source. With season 15 of Real Housewives of Atlanta rumored to begin filming this weekend without Portia, fans are wondering if the network is completely done with her. Probably not, said another insider, but for now, they are definitely not Team Portia. Her biggest mistake was mishandling her brand over the last past two years. You can't publicly tarnish your brand and not try to intensively revive it. That's crazy, said the source. Portia really seemed uninterested in returning to the franchise as recently as this summer. However, with the alleged cancellation of her spinoff, the former housewife was rumored to be fighting for her old position back. Was she too late? Or was the network too over her antics and drama? One source said, we will just have to wait and see. Now, Kim folk. When I heard this rumor about Bravo and producers allegedly not moving forward with bringing Portia back for season 15 of Real Housewives of Atlanta, I will be honest with you. I was completely shocked. Completely shocked. If you would have told me this about two days ago or three days ago, I wouldn't have believed you. And I would not have believed you uh, simply uh, because of this. My sources had been telling me since about around the end of summer that there was just one missing factor in the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. After the season wrap and once the season after the season wrap filming and once the uh, episode started to wind down, my sources were saying that allegedly the discussion with production was it is just one special piece that's missing, and they were confused as what that piece was or who could fill in that piece. Allegedly, half of the production team thought that a fresh new face was needed 
And then the other half of the team allegedly thought that an OD, OG, or veteran housewife was needed to fill that void. After several of their um, newbies who tested, uh, tested this last season on Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, especially Fat Toon, when it seems as if they were not sticking and they were flopping as the season progressed, the conversation from what I've been told moved on to, well, let's think about bringing in a veteran or OG housewife. That's why, Kim Folk, about a month or so ago, there were a lot of rumors picking up that Phaedra may be rejoining the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Now, for what I was told was that when Phaedra went on the Ultimate Girls trip, it really was an audition of some sort, allegedly, to see if she still had that same energy that she had when she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. They also wanted to see if she was more willing to uh, open up about her personal and private life. Now, what my sources are telling me, allegedly, although Phaedra's performance was solid, she still seemed to harbor or have some of those same things that produ producers were allegedly upset with her about when she was filming regularly on the franchise. And that one thing that they were allegedly upset about was this. It seemed that after filming, Phaedra still did not want to publicly open up about her relationship and certain things that happened behind the scenes with Bravo. Sources say they're not sure if she was trying to protect someone or if she was trying to protect herself. However, when that fell fat, flat, producer said, well, you know what? If we think it is a OG or veteran housewife that we need to fill in this space, let's look at Portia. Now, this is when Portia, from what my sources are saying, began to actively audition on Ultimate Girls Trip. And from what I was told, allegedly a lot of people felt like Portia getting on the Ultimate Girls Trip and that airing after um, Real Housewives of Atlanta in its offseason was the network's way of trying to ease her back into her old role and get fans familiar with seeing her on the screen again since her spinoff wrapped in the early part of the year. And so you couple that with the fact that rumors started flying and towards the end of the summer that Portia's spinoff was allegedly canceled and that she may or may not be receiving a wedding special. And then, Kim Folk, as we started to pick up more rumors and speculation, Portia actually allegedly canceled her September wedding and pushed it back to the further end of the year. And this is what my sources are saying was the big signal to a lot of people behind the scenes and allegedly to a lot of people who are close to production behind the scenes that Portia pushing her wedding back was the ultimate sign that she would be rejoining the ladies almost season 15 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, as we know, some things have changed. The ladies are actually starting to one film this weekend allegedly and two, something that has never happened from my recollection and a lot of my other sources' recollection, they can all say, including myself, is that Bravo did one thing that they never necessarily uh, do or have done in the past. And it's this. As soon as the second part, or maybe even the first part of the reunion um, aired, Rumors were that all the ladies already had their contracts signed and ready to go. That's something that Bravo hasn't done for what my sources say in a very long time. And to my knowledge, this is something they haven't done in a very long time that I can remember. Normally, it's about a one to two month negotiation period of trying to get the ladies back, trying to work on storylines, trying to piece together who's in, who's out. But for the first time in a very long time, before the reunion even finished airing, all the ladies allegedly had their contracts. Not only had their contracts, but had their contracts signed, sealed, and ready to start filming. My sources say also that this is the earliest and the quickest that the ladies had ever started filming the next season of their show. They can only think of one other franchise that did this, and it was the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills when Erica Jane and uh, was started filming the reunion. I uh, started filming the next season immediately after the reunion. Some sources say that she was actually filming the next season while the reunion was still being uh, filmed and aired. And so now we see a move like that from the network that we have never seen before. 
And it all leads to the fact that they may have or must be very pleased with the current cast of ladies. And all of my sources are telling me that that signal is that they may actually be very pleased with all the ladies and their performances on last season. Which unfortunately for Portia left her out in the cold. Now the big question is. Is the network and producers, are they really done with Portia? Are they completely and have they completely wiped her, their hands with her, her storyline, and all of her drama? Well, my sources are telling me that for right now, it does seem as if Bravo has cooled down on all of the Portia hype. For right now, I've been told they're really concentrating on developing this core group of ladies to be the new set of housewives that continue to take the brand and franchise to this next level of being number one on the network. They feel like they allegedly, allegedly feel like they have this very strong dynamic that is working for them really well. So for Portia, while the, while the network may or may not have washed their hands with her completely, for right now, they definitely have cooled down on her. Now, with Portia's wedding still happening this year from what my sources are saying, then they said Portia can technically may do a friend of the show role, a pop-up here or there. And a lot of people are kind of counting on that and not have completely counted her out. Because Portia is known to take a friend of the show role and just work her way back up to official peach holder. And they really feel like that this is no uh, different from the last time she had to do it as a friend of the show. However, there is one piece of the puzzle that's a little bit different from last time. Portia, from what my sources are saying, is really adamant about marrying um, Simon. And Simon is very adamant, allegedly, about keeping his private life off the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So now we see Portia in a very tight spot with her career and with her brand. But for right now, Kim Folk, it seems as if she would not be a returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta this, this season as a full-time peach holder. Now, Kim Folk, I want to know what you guys think. Are you all shocked by this rumor that Portia is not is allegedly not returning as an official peach holder? And do you think that Bravo is completely done with her? Or do you think that they may bring her back at some point during filming, if not this year, then definitely next year? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright Kim folk, if you enjoyed this video as always, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.